Hi kids, I'm Max Safety, a lineman at First Energy, the company that sends electricity to your house. As a lineman, it's my job to keep the power on in your home and neighborhood. Electricity powers so many things. It charges our phones and tablets, keeps our refrigerators running, lets us cool our houses in the summer and heat them in the winter. But electricity can be dangerous too. And when danger is near, you have to know what to do. How will we know what to do? Well, you can just take a tiny version of me with you. Well, how do we do that? Down here! <sighs> Electricity keeps our lives comfortable and fun, but can be super dangerous if something comes in contact with it. In fact, it can energize anything that it touches. Do you know what energized means? It means the electricity is on and it's dangerous. Did you know that power lines can energize anything they're touching? Like a fence, a puddle, or a tree, or even stuff that's far away, at least 30 feet. How far is 30 feet? 30 feet is about the length of a typical school bus. So, if you ever see a power line on the ground or in a tree, anywhere except strung between two poles like it should be, you need to stop. Stay at least 30 feet away. Look. Look around for other hazards and how to avoid them. Live. Being aware and staying away from electricity can save your life. All right, kids. Say it with me. Stop. stop look, look. Live. live. So, what's one way that a power line would end up on the ground or in a tree? Big storms? Yep, big storms knock down all sorts of stuff, like trees and power lines. Speaking of big storms, let's get you out of here. After a big storm, if you see a power line's falling on the ground, stop. Stay at least 30 feet away from it or anything it's touching. Look around for any other hazards, and ask an adult to call 911. Live. Staying away can save your life. Regardless of the weather, you may see line workers outside installing or repairing our electrical equipment. If you see our trucks in orange cones, stay away. It could be dangerous. Electricity can travel through wood and what are trees made of? You got it, wood. Never play in trees that are close to power lines. And if you see a downed power line touching a tree, stay far, far away and tell an adult to call 911. Also, if you see someone trimming a tree near a power line, warn them of the danger or tell an adult. Okay, kids. Pop quiz, true or false, you can move faster than electricity. Electricity is very fast. It travels at 186,000 miles per second. That's the speed of light. So even if you can move as fast as a superhero, you can't outrun electricity. Oh, that's fast. Whoa, what happened? Looks like this car crashed into a utility pole. Now there's a power line on it. What should we do? Stay away and call 911. Yes, stay away and call 911 if you see that a power line's fallen on a car. Do you know what the driver of this car should do? Stay put. Yes, the car's the safest place to be. Don't get out of the car until the fire department, police, or First Energies arrive to help get you out safely. Unless, of course... Unless there's smoke or fire. Yes, stay put. The people in the car shouldn't get out unless the car is smoking or on fire. If a car is smoking or on fire and you must get out, do not touch the vehicle and the ground at the same time. 
This may seem a little tricky, but you must jump away from your vehicle without touching it and the ground at the same time. Land with your feet together and shuffle in small steps, keeping your feet close together and on the ground at all times. All right, kids, let's try it together. Ready? Jump! Start shuffling those feet. Good. Keep those feet close together. Continue shuffling to your safe distance of at least 30 feet. Do you remember how far 30 feet is? A bus. Yes. And remember, when you're outside to keep away from electrical equipment, if you ever find a fallen power line, stay away and dial 911 immediately. Who likes to play outside? I do. I'm sure you know how important it is to be safe outside. But have you ever seen one of these green boxes in your yard or close by? These are underground transformers that are part of the electrical system. And you should never climb on them or try to open them. They're designed to be safe, but they contain electrical equipment, which can be dangerous. That's why they have these signs on them. They're locked for everyone's protection. So if you ever see one that's open or unlocked, stop, stay away. Look for an adult to tell immediately and always avoid dangerous situations which can help you and others live safely. Speaking of stuff you shouldn't mess around with, who knows what a substation is? This is a substation, and it's one of the first stops electricity makes on its way to your home. So, look for signs like this. Don't ever climb on the fence. If your ball, frisbee, drone, or any other toy flies over the fence, tell an adult to call First Energy, and we'll get it back for you. Hello! So, what did we just learn? Electricity is great, but it can be dangerous. That's right. So what should you do if you see a power line on the ground, in a tree, or on a car, or anywhere it shouldn't be? Stay away and call 911. Exactly. And what should you do around those big green boxes and substations? Just stay away. Very good. An easy way to remember what to do is to memorize these three words. Stop. Look. Live. live.